Hello, hello, and welcome back to Extracurricular Activities. We're, we're finally starting the, uh, the DND campaign. Yes, yes, it is. It is a time, you know? <laughs> uh, I was warned that this is long, so that's... Um, I don't know, I guess we might be here for, for a couple of weeks, I don't know. So, what do you guys want to do? What can we do? Anything! There are so many possibilities! Oh god, I've forgotten, uh, who is which character. Wait, no, this is, uh... Right, they're color-coded. It's like, oh no, they're they're actually, like, using the names of the D&D the &D characters. That's, uh, that's frightening. That's frightening. Let's ask about, about the bandits. Uh, we're here for a reason, so... We might as well gather some information about that. As you try to approach the, as you try to approach the uh, villagers, they avoid speaking with you and retreat to their homes. Uh, none of them seem interested in having anything to do with you. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, there has to be someone around that will talk to us. Uh, how about we? Uh, how how long have we been traveling? We've been on the road for a couple of days now. Uh, let's see if there's an inn around here, around then, and we can rest. Uh, maybe I can gather some information there. That's a good idea. We should do that. You decide to wander around the town, uh, looking for lodging. There aren't many buildings, but you find one on the edge of the town with a sign denoting that it's an inn. As you approach, you are greeted outside by one of the villagers. Chester clears his throat and changes his voice. Cool. Uh, hail, villagers! Ah, oh, greetings! Uh, be this an inn, we are looking for a place to rest for the day. Aye, it, it be, but you're not welcome to stay here. What? Uh, why not? Uh, groups like ye, like ye never uh, bring anything uh, good to our town, so you uh, best be moving on. <clears throat> we have coin that is as good as any other. We, uh, so we uh, can pay for our rooms. I don't care. You can leave. Uh, you can all leave. Can I seduce him into letting us stay? Uh, try and I could try intimidating him too. Um. Uh... Let's just cut to the chase and let Spencer handle it. This could, uh, this shouldn't be a problem for me. Uh, what do I need to do? Roll a d20 first, and if you have, and if you uh, put points into your persuasion skill, uh, add that to your roll for the, uh, roll for your total. Alright, looks like my total is seven. Okay, uh, so, what do you want to do? I draw one of my daggers and run my fingers along the flat part of the blade, uh, sizing up the man as I do. Are you sure you wouldn't reconsider? Without anywhere for us to stay the night, that just means we'll be out here unattended. Who knows what could happen under the guise of night. If you be threatening me, there is no point. The hounds will keep your way, or at least alert the town guard, and they'll be on their way before you can scramble back into the forest. Now I reckon you uh, need to be getting out of here before you start uh, causing any trouble. Listen here, uh, before, uh, yeah, listen here before I can, uh, persuade you otherwise. Uh, since, um, wait, uh, since, uh, am I, am I forgetting who's who? Yeah, I am. I'm mixing up the character voices, that's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Since Dagger, since Dagger over there failed, I'm gonna try seducing the guy. Okay, roll a d20 and then add your charisma modifier to it. The modifier is the number in the box, right? Yup, uh, yep, uh, that's it. Mm, so I rolled a 19, so adding 3 into that means I get a 22. Oh man, seduce away then! Seeing that you don't seem interested in taking our money, maybe I can offer you some other services. I don't think I'd be very interested in anything else. I walk over to the man and speak in a 
hushed tone with him. Uh, Darius whispers something into Chester's ear, and the uh, bull's face flushed. flushed. Uh, I, I can't very well turn down such an offer. If you folks promise not to cause any trouble, you can sleep in the stable out back. I'll be staying somewhere else, though. We just don't need more trouble than we already have. What kind of trouble have you been dealing with? Nothing your strangers need to worry yourselves about. I I have a bar to tend to, so I'll be off. The stable is big enough for the lot of you, and it'd be best if you were go gone by morning. I bet we could uh, get some more information out of him. I agree. Why don't we just go rest for a moment and decide what to do, uh, what we should do uh, next then? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, let's go um, check out the stables. The stables are, lo are located behind the inn, and it's uh, one of a modest size, and it's clearly clean. It's mostly clean. No animal occupy it currently, and it's uh, full of uh, bales of hay. There is more than enough room f to uh, build a small fire in the center of the stable that everyone could sleep around. Another night of sleeping on the ground, it looks like. Speak for yourselves, I'll have a bed tonight. No surprise there. I think I can do something about our sleeping situation for tonight. Do tell. No, oh, excuse me. It just so happens, I know a little spell to conjure items. I can conjure up some nice linens for us, and we can all place them over the hay for a more comfortable bed tonight. If it means I don't have to sleep on the ground again, then get to conjuring. Alright, I will expend one of my spells for the day to conjure, to conjure linens. Sure, but uh, don't forget, you need materials for it. According to the manual, you'll need roughly 15 GP worth of fine uh, silk and other quality fabrics to make one blanket. Uh, do you have, uh, do you have that in your, um, reg- Wait, re- regments, regmen bag. Oh, I forgot about that. It's been so long since I played. I don't suppose you'll uh, be conjuring any of that up. I probably could just steal some from the inn, if that, if I need to. That shouldn't be too hard. That's not a bad idea. No, excuse me. Should we really be stealing from these people, though? Uh, they don't seem to have much. It's just for one night. You can always give them back afterwards. That's true, so it's more borrowing than anything. Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in that. We can discuss that more later. For now, we need to figure out more about these bandits. And do you think there's a there's the problem with the bar yeah the barkeeper was talking about? Most likely, they do. Uh, why don't we send um, Big Dick to find out? I'm sure I can milk some and uh, some extra information out of him. If you guys um, want me uh, to um, wait here, I'll uh, go see what I can find out. As you discuss what to do, you hear a you hear a commotion coming from the town. You hear a scream and a. And a, a lot of shouting. Do you guys uh, hear that? Uh, something's happening. I do. We should go check it out. Uh, someone might need our help. Yeah, let's go. In the middle of town, you find a couple of rough, uh, well, um... What? Chiseled? Uh, bandits armed with weapons. It appears they have, uh... uh they've wounded a man who is on the ground, bleeding. Okay. He's a lucky we don't just kill him right now. Just give us your food and we'll be on our way. You really don't want us to tell the boss that you folks were giving his, uh, his men a hard time. He wouldn't like that. Hey, it's our lucky day. Uh, these guys seem... <clears throat> these guys might be exactly what we've been looking for. Should we confront them or just wait and follow them? We shouldn't let them harm anyone else, so I think we should stop them. It'll be, uh, it'll be easier to, uh, get what we want if we, uh, just wait and follow them. Hmm. Hmm. What, to, uh, what to do? What to do? We'll just follow them. 
we shouldn't uh, cause ourselves any extra trouble, so we might as well sit back and wait. If things look like they're going to get really bad, though, I think we should step in. But only if things get bad. The bandits uh, don't cause any more, any more harm than they already have, and the townsfolk comply, bringing them several large sacks of food. With their food in tow, they make their way towards a nearby forest. No, we shouldn't waste any time, otherwise it'll be harder for us to follow them. I don't think we uh, want to get caught in the uh, woods at night either, since we uh, don't know the area. And it, <clears throat> and it seems to have a uh, bandit problem. <laughs> let's go then. Uh, let's go then. Uh, we have some bandits to take care of. Yeah. Okay. So into the forest, your group ventures. Sunlight filters through the thick canopy overhead, uh, keeping your your surroundings illuminated. I can, I can keep up with them and signal to you all when it's safe to move forward. We don't need them to discover we're following them. That's a good idea. As long as we have a have plenty of distance between us, there shouldn't be any issues. All right. I'll need you to roll for a stealth then. A d20, right? Yep. And add your stealth level to that. 17 then. Keeping up with your target was difficult. Uh, they were far for they were far from quiet, squabbling with each other over the uh, wasn't difficult, okay. Uh who um, wouldn't be uh taking credit for their current haul with uh, while leaving a currently uh, defined path through the uh, through the thicket. Is it a thicket? I guess that's just, I'm assuming that means the forest. They had no idea they were being tailed on the uh, on the way back to their hideout. You find their hideout, and it appears to be a small cabin nestled against uh, the foot of the mountain. What will you guys do now? We should uh, make sure there are no guards around before we just rush right in on it. I can do a quick perimeter check to see if anything stands out. That's a good idea. We'll leave that to you, Dagger. I'll stick to the shadows of the uh, trees and scout the area. Are there any guards or anything else I notice? Roll for a perception check. It's a 13. You notice a guard, a single guard, standing outside. I'm going to sneak in closer to him and see if I can uh, just eliminate him. Roll d20 for a stealth uh, first. I rolled 17. The guard looks tired, so he, so he would be um, oblivious to anyone sneaking up on him. I can sneak attack him and slit his throat. Jeez, that's a little violent, are we? Hey, he's in our way, so I uh, need to remove him if I can. Roll a stealth for me, one more time. No, oh, I rolled a 20 this time. Rolling a natural 20 without modifiers is a guaranteed crit in while in battle, but... No, but since we aren't in combat yet, you sneak up to the guard, and before he uh, knows what's happened, you have his uh, mouth covered and and slit his th and, and his throat slit for a silent kill. Well, that was easy enough. I should go let the others know. There was only a single guard on duty, and he's been dealt with. The coast is clear then. Yeah, there isn't anyone else around. <clears throat> Uh, let's head into the cabin, then. Right. You killed the guard. Uh, couldn't you have just knocked him out? Leaving him alive would have put us at risk later. If he did come, I, uh... Yeah, if he did come, I did what he... Well, uh, what had to be done. I can't help, uh... It can't be helped. So, let's check out this cabin. Everyone stay alert. We, uh... We don't know what's inside. Right. After I loot the corpse. The only thing of value is a silver ring around his neck. This might fetch a fair price, so I'll be taking it. <clears throat> You're, uh... I... <clears throat> God, I can't. Okay. You're now free to enter the cabin. <laughs> what is in the cabin? The cabin is a must has a musty odor to it, and dust and dirt lining every ca corner and crevice without uh, throughout, and the only th oh, and the only um and the only uh, light comes from the window in each room. 
All of the rooms are empty but one, which has a tall shelf placed against the back wall. Uh, the bandits come into the cabin, right? Yeah, there's only a... There is a no other way out. We have... We would have seen them. Is there no... Is there nothing else in this room? You can roll a... Uh, you can all roll for perception. If, uh, to see if anything stands out. Dice rolled across the table, and there were uh, several high rolls. Dagger and, um, Bathzerg uh, noticed that there is uh, something odd about the bookshelves. Uh, there are handprints in the dust lining the uh, edge of the shelf here. You're right, and it looks like there is something behind it. Let's see if I can move it. You slide the uh, shelf aside and reveal a torch-lit tunnel uh, burrowing back into the mountain. I wonder just how deep this goes. Well, um... Yeah, excuse me. We're about to find out. I bet this is where those bandits are hiding. Come on, everyone. Stay alert. Because we uh, don't know what's come... Uh, what's uh, down here. I'll lead the way, and you all can follow me. Now cover the rear to make sure nothing comes from behind. Yeah, you make sure nobody comes in the back. Nothing uh, new there. What is that supposed to mean? Quiet, you two. We don't know who is down here and what might and uh, what might uh, hear us. Oh, okay. Oh, look at these little guys! Look at these little guys off to the side. Look at these little humanities. Yeah, those were adorable. The tunnel you're uh, in seems uh, seems to uh, wind down into the mountain. Uh, your shadows dance across the wall, uh, vanishing into the darkness as you move in between the light of uh, sparsely placed torches. Everyone roll a perception check for me. Uh, four. Seventeen. I got a ten. I rolled a seventeen, too. It's well for me. Okay. After walking for several minutes, you hear voices coming from up ahead. Someone is up, is up ahead. Just around the corner. We should be careful. We'll kill the whole lot of them. And, uh, and trap their souls in the uh, damned box with all the rest. Nobody crosses us and gets away with it. No, oh, uh, did I hear that correctly? He said he'd trap souls in, bo in the box. Do you think he uh, there's an artifact we've um uh that's the artifact we've heard about? It has to be. We need to get our hands on it first though. I'd say it's about time to confront these guys. Let me see how many there are first. How about I check? I'm stealthier than you are. Be careful then. I'm going to sneak along the wall and take a close a uh, look to see what's in there. All right, roll a stealth check then. Four. Oh boy. As you approach the edge of the room, you trip over your own feet and fall to the ground in plain sight of everyone in the small room. Oh, okay. There are three bandits and their hobgoblin commander. Are you fellows in need of a bedmate? I can offer you a discounted rate if so. Let's go before he gets himself killed. All right, everyone, I need you to... Wait, 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 before we get started. What is it? Just how attractive is this hobgoblin? The bandits. I'm not uh, really interested in... The bandits I'm not interested in, but the commander, I need to know. Oh, I'm not sure. That's not normally a stat I keep track of, but I guess for this instance, I'll roll and find out. Chester uh, scr uh, stared at the die for a moment while everyone waited. Well... It's a 20. That means he's hot. He's pretty hot, I guess. Chester, I need you to listen to me and listen good. This is really important. What now? Darius took a deep breath and gestured with his hands for added emphasis. Every single person at this table right now is into dudes, in some way or another. Spencer covers his face with his hand and uh, sighed loudly, and before anyone was able to argue, uh, 
argue against what the lion said, Darius um, put his hand up defensively and raised his voice. I'm um, exhausting trying. It's exhausting trying to keep track of who knows what. This is ridiculous, and we've been dancing around it for ages. So if any of you think you can say "not me" with a straight face or without uh, hurting someone's feelings, his eyes dart between um, Dozer and Chester, then between you and Harold. Go ahead and say it now. The clock hangs on the wall of the kitchen. sounded sounded like um a perfectly a timed explosions with every second a uh, passing. Wait, with every second, with every passing second amidst the awkward silence, Chester seemed like a deer caught in the headlights, and Dozer's expression was as um Ill- illegible as ever. Harold's face uh, was contorted with a mixture of annoyance, but you could see a hint of relief in his eyes. You made eye contact with Spencer uh, when he lowered his hand, and he just shrugged, shook his head, and rolled his eyes, but you could see the corners of his mouth curling to a smirk that was definitely not a straight face. That's what I thought. Now that we have that cleared up. A mischievous smile spread across his face as he continued. All right, I'll end the part here, everyone, so I will see you around.